Hi, welcome to Ace News. I'm your host, Anna Kuzma. With me, I have reporters Ethan Santoyo and Charles Sewell. Bernie Sanders is a senator from Vermont running as a Democratic candidate in the 2016 election. In politics, the line between the whole truth and a pants on fire lie is the slim one. We've investigated six of Bernie Sanders' claims and determined their truthfulness. However, the question remains, is Bernie Sanders telling the truth or feeling the burn of his lies? Bernie Sanders strongly believes in the increase of minimum wage. By doing this, Bernie claims that millions of me members of the American workforce will be positively affected. So, Ethan, exactly how true is this claim? Well, Anna, according to Bernie Sanders, we must provide both male and females the living wage to survive, along with the, without the fear of poverty. Bernie is claiming, as President of the United States, he will change minimum wage from $7.25 to $15 an hour. With the current minimum wage, millions of full-time workers are living in poverty as most as to work two to three jobs. However, according to the U.S. Senate website, by changing minimum wage to $15 an hour, over 62 million American workers will be pulled out of poverty. However, this estimate varies with studies. Therefore, we have concluded that this claim is mostly true. Thank you for that report, Ethan. Our next claim from Senator Bernie Sanders is that by completing the Trans-Pacific Trade Deal, the United States will lose 448,000 jobs. So, Charles, can you explain the truthfulness of this claim made by Sanders? Yes, Anna. Yes, Anna. After much investigation, I come to an answer. Bernie Sanders has claimed that the Trans-Pacific Partnership Trade Deal will cost America a significant amount of jobs, 448,000 to be exact. And according to Tufts University and the New Deal Progressives Group, there are multiple projections that support this claim. Tufts University's projection is that the trade will increase, increase the short-term costs, causing bosses to cut workers' pay. Eventually, the salaries will drop tremendously, causing people to be fired. Tufts predicted that this will happen to 448,000 people. So based on this research, we have concluded that Bernie Sanders was mostly true. Thank you for that very detailed analysis. So far, it seems that our candidate is telling mostly the truth. The next claim we will focus on is the price of prescription drugs. He claims that the United States is paying by far the most for prescription drugs. So, Ethan, is this true? Are Americans putting holes in their pockets for drugs that should be affordable? Well, according to C. Emory Jr. of the nonprofit Pollard Effect organization, Americans by far pay the most money for prescription drugs all around the world. Tens of thousands spend more than about 100000 a year on prescription medicine. When talking about our country's health care, Bernie is stating that we need the American people to be able to afford the medicine needed. In fact, Every one in five of 35 million Americans aged between 19 to 64 did not get the correct prescriptions needed due to lack of money. More than 70% truly believe that the drug cost from drug companies is highly unreasonable. Other major countries are reasoning without better health insurance plans to negotiate better prices. So we have concluded again that this statement is mostly true. Thank you, Ethan. Bernie Sanders is working to make college tuition free. He claims taxes from Wall Street will make this task feasible. Can taxes from Wall Street really pay for the cost of free tuition throughout America? Well, Anna, Bernie's claims about free college tuition may seem a bit like a reach, but with the help of Wall Street taxes, it may be plausible. But Bernie left something major out. In a recent interview with CNN on March 30th, Bernie explained more on his ideas for free college tuition. He claims that if Wall Street pays two-thirds of the cost to do this, it may be possible. But what he left out was that the states have to pitch in for the remaining third. The cost to make college tuition free would be approximately $75 billion. And if Wall Street plays, pays $50 billion, uh, will the states be willing to pay the other $25 billion? Based on what happened in the Medicaid Act, it is unsure whether all states will pay. Since Bernie left out that the states will have to pay one-third of the cost, and we are still unsure if they will do so, we have ruled Bernie's claim mostly false. Well, I guess Bernie wasn't telling the whole truth on that claim. The income gap within the United States is massive and Bernie wants to eliminate this. He claims that it is not fair when the 20 wealthiest people in this country own more wealth than the bottom half of the American people. We must eliminate the income gap. The Walton family of Walmart, this one family owns more wealth than the bottom 40% of the American people. So Ethan, is the income gap really this gaping? The Walton family fared pretty well over the Great Recession as their wealth was up 22% from 2007 to 2010. Forbes saw that the 45% rebound in their wealth during 2010 to 13, and the subset of Walton wealth increased by just over half. The combined worth of the Walton Six was $145 billion in 2015, which equaled the total wealth of the entire bottom 43% of the people. So again, this statement is mostly true. Thank you for that analysis. On to our last claim of this episode. Bernie believes that men and women should have pay equality. He says that women receive 78 cents for every dollar a man receives. So, is this true? 
Bernie's claim is that men make 70 cents for every dollar that a man makes. Based on studies concluded by payequity.org and the Institute for Women's Policy Research, I can confirm this claim. Women do make an average of 78 cents for every dollar that a man makes. These studies confirm that Bernie was telling the truth when he made this claim. Based on these six claims that Ethan and Charlie examined, we can confirm that Bernie Sanders is in fact mostly truthful. Thank you for watching Ace News tonight and feel the burn.